I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And we're just so happy we could come back again this week. The Lord has taken us through another week, at least uh, most of us. Oh, every week we hear from somebody that's gone on to be with the Lord, and uh, that'll be a wonderful time, like uh, Paul says, for me to live as Christ, to die as gain. Some people say, oh, it's a terrible loss. It isn't a loss. Paul says it's a gain. And so some of our folks have gone that have gone to be with the Lord. And someday we'll get to go, and won't that be something? Maybe the Lord will come before we die, uh, we die and then we'll all go at once, all the believers at once. But you have to be a Christian. And you say, oh, I'm a Christian because I, I went to church a lot. So, and, you know, just because you go to church doesn't mean you're a Christian any more than just, you know, you, well, any difference in going to the garage and think that, think that makes you a car. And you have to be born again. So that's by opening heart to the Lord. And we'll talk about that. Just stay with us. Well, we're reading from Genesis chapter 3. And uh, this takes place. Adam and Eve are in the Garden of Eden. They're told not to partake of a certain tree, and that's where they're headed. And now they've sinned, and now they have to meet God. And this is what God does and how he handles a situation. Genesis chapter 3, beginning with the 14th verse. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel." Under the woman, he said, <clears throat> I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam, he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake, in sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. And we're going to pray, and in our prayer we're going to pray for the persecuted church in Nigeria. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for this passage of Scripture because it shows us how that sin came into the world and how you always judge sin. And so, and so we pray that as we study this, that we can see this great prophecy that you've given us in this chapter in the 15th verse, telling of how that uh, Jesus Christ is going to come the seed of the woman is going to come and how the, we can see how that you're going to rule and reign and that it's going to end up that you're the, the Lord of all of creation once again. So we just pray that you'll open the word to us today. Dear Lord, we're praying today for the persecuted church in Nigeria and uh, uh, we just uh, pray that you'll encourage them and help them to know that we think of them and that we pray for them and tell and let them know, Lord, that we're better Christians because of them. When we see their example they set for us, it challenges us to give more to you, to sell out for you, and to be totally controlled by the Holy Spirit and about and uh, your will to be done. And so just bless them and help them to know they're a blessing to us. And someday we'll meet these people in heaven, Lord, and they'll be wearing the martyr's crown gave their life for Jesus, beautiful Jesus. And then we also pray, Lord, that you'll use this service to bring people to yourself and help them to see the prophecy in the Word of God, how the, your Word always comes true. It never fails. And to help us to be obedient to your Word and come to you. And may multitudes come to you today to receive you as their Savior and pray the sinner's prayer 
Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Save me for Jesus' sake. So this is your service, and we pray your blessing on it. In Jesus' name, amen.